Hi there, and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we're looking at the third and the final concept or final idea in our study of work, energy, and power. And in this class, we're looking at the concept of power. All right. So, what's power? By definition, power is simply the rate of doing work. That's the definition. Or we can simply say power is simply the rate at which work is done. Um, when it comes to a mathematical expression we can say power let's call this uh, okay so power mathematically power is equal to now don't forget what we said something is having a rate it means that thing is changing with respect to time so when we say the rate at doing work we mean for power is simply work over time or perhaps work done over time so power is simply equal to work done work done all over time so this becomes your expression or your mathematical expression for power work done as we know it is in joules and time as we know it is in seconds so we can see the si unit for power the si unit of power is joules per second that's joules slash second or js to power minus one also an alternative unit and the most used unit for power is watts okay power watts so watts is another s sign unit for power so we can say power is measured in joules per second or watts the relationship is that one joules per second is equal to one w so capital w signifies watts so apart from what there are other um, units for measuring power which majorly is things like kilowatts so we also have kilowatts for power um, okay let me write this here so power also have other units known as kilowatts that's kw power also have or power is also measured in horsepower horsepower um, used majorly in engines so horsepower is hp you have this and it's a c the question now be how do you convert between the different units of power now here's what to note note that one horsepower hp is equal to all right so note that one horsepower is equal to 746 watts right but let me like a key idea when it comes to conversion right one horsepower is equal to 746 watts but if I want to, I could use the full form 746 watts. So, this is like how you do your basic um, conversion for this. All right, so with this being said, uh, let's look at one more concept before we proceed. Let's look at one more concept before we proceed. Um, so, look at this. Let me give you another mathematical expression for work done for power, please. Now, record that we said power is equal to work done. Let me call this W. Okay, so this is done for what? So I don't mistake it. Let me let me write in full. Work done all over time taken. That's part. But work or work done is equal to force times distance. If this is true, that means we can say that power power is equal to work becomes force times distance so i have force times distance that's work done all over i have time so i have this all right so this is true we can also i'll do a bit of mathematical manipulation i'll have that power is equal to force times I'm now left with this one here, which is simply distance all over time. So I have this. Okay, but recall from the concept of motion that velocity, recall that velocity is equal to distance. Well, you can say speed if you want to. Distance over time. You can say speed or velocity is equal to distance over time. So it means that power, power is equal to force times 
distance over time we call this what the velocity right so we have this so we can see that from here we can see that power p is equal to the product of force f times velocity v and say u if you want to can use u to represent the velocity all right so note that power has two mathematical expressions either um either you can call it the ratio of work done to time taken or the product of force and velocity if i use these two signs again i will have a unit that looks like power is equal to force measured in newton velocity measured in meter per second so note that this one here is also another si unit for power so power has different units joules per second watts kilowatts horsepower or perhaps newton meter per second all right so these are like the different um, expressions for power so having said this let's take some questions and then we'll solve problems on power all right so let's look at question one question one here says a car is moving at a constant speed of 20 meters per second the force retarding its motion is 500 newton full stop calculate the engine power of the car required to maintain the motion all right um as usual solution list out given parameters number one they said a car is moving at a constant speed so i have speed of velocity u or v as equal to 20 meters per second okay next they said the force retarding its motion is 500 newton so force given here 500 newton you have to find the engine power um solution to this record that power is equal to force times velocity as i proved to you earlier and that's equal to force is 500 times velocity is 20. if i work on this this becomes 500 times 20 and that's equal to 10,000. basically force is in watts that becomes 10,000 watts now this is big so let's convert to kilowatts now 10,000 is same as me saying 10 times 10 to power 3 10 to power 3 gives you a thousand then what but don't forget that we said that 10 to power 3 is called a kilo don't forget that 10 to power 3 is equal to one kilo or one k if i want to so that means this becomes 10 times this value is kilo so it becomes 10 kilo watt so the answer is 10 kilowatts of force all right example number two um a ball of mass 10 kilogram climbs up 10 steps each of height 0.2 meters in 20 seconds calculate the power of the ball all right solution calculate the power of the ball solution let's list out given parameters so the first that I'm giving here, they said number one, the mass of the boy, mass M as equal to 10 kg, 10 kilogram. Okay, they said he climbs up 10 steps of height 0.2. So you're climbing 10 steps of height 0.2. Now, what can we get from there? From there, we can get the total distance covered. So here's the idea. So you have this we said each step from here to here is about 0 0.2 meters from here to here is about 0 0.2 meters for this question okay also here 0 0.2 meters so let's say the boy climbs up let's say three steps from here he climbs one two three that becomes 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 and that gives you 0 0.6 so if he moves three steps from here, one step 0 0.2, two step 0 0.4, the fourth step he has covered a total distance of 0 0.6 meters. That means we can get the total height covered. So I think we should use the word height there. 
we can get the star height covered by multiplying the number of steps um, so 10 steps each times the height of each step height of each step that's how you can get the total height covered all right that means in this case number two the height covered by the ball is equal to number of steps they said 10 steps multiplied by is it each step is 0 0.2 meters high 0 0.2 meters if i multiply this 10 times 0 0.2 gives you 2 meters so the height is 2 meters okay number three said time time t is equal to what there 20 seconds you have to find the power of the boy all right so how to find the power of the boy um here's what to note recall that power is equal to work all over time and we said work is equal to what there mass times gravity times height okay that's uh what's it called um work of course work done is equal to mass times gravity times height all over time so i have this so what do i have here from here this is equal to the mass in this case is 10 times the gravity in this case of course constant 9.8 times the height total height becomes number of steps times the height of each step which we got to all over the total time is 20 seconds so if i do this uh, let me punch this with my calculator so if i punch this um in punches i have 10 times 9.8 times 2 all over 20 and that's equal to 9.8 watts so therefore the power um let me use the exact words here that was was calculate the power of the boy so hence the power of the boy is about 9.8 watts so that's how we solve this question all right so if you enjoyed this class please like this video and leave a comment all right tell us what other topics you want me to uh, make classes on also i have prepared over 100 classes on mathematics physics um, chemistry and the rest all right so this class of these classes will not be found on this channel okay if you want to gain a lifetime access to over 100 of my classes, simply visit my website www.jonahimmanuel.com forward slash courses and then you see the course jam slash wire classes. You can, make, you can get the course there and it gives you a lifetime access to over 100 um, classes and of course video tutorials on physics, chemistry, mathematics for jam and wire students. Thank you very much and see you in the next class.